Hey, what's up guys? Just wanted to make a quick little video about Reggae again, you guys' favorite subject. Uh, this is gonna be a Q&A, uh, specifically on this video, how to get better ping in Minecraft, updated 2016. This is the tutorial that you wanna follow if you want to uh, get good Reggae edit settings, basically, and I'm gonna be answering some of the questions that you guys have in the comments below. So, question number one comes from Skunky Base. He's asking, Pardon my ignorance, is this considered cheating? No, it is not cheating. It's basically making your latency better. It's not... Like, it, it, there's no way you can consider that cheating. It's kind of like saying that if somebody has better connection than you, he's cheating. Uh, it doesn't make any sense, so no, it's not cheating. Question number two comes from Huawei Fna. He's saying, it fudged up my internet connection. I used to get 45 to 50. Now I'm getting 60 to 250 MS. What the heck? Well, first off, these regulated settings aren't going to hurt your ping. They're not actually going to affect it at all. So if people are saying in the comments that this changed my ping in any way, it doesn't actually do that. Uh, it actually only changes your latency. So technically it makes your computer receive packets faster. You guys can check the description to see the full explanation. I can put a link in the Battleline website that actually explains it fully, but it's not actually gonna change your visible ping. So if you had 40 milliseconds before, you're still gonna have 40 milliseconds. It might actually feel like you have, let's say 20 milliseconds less of a ping, but it's not gonna visibly change it. You're not gonna see it when you check your ping. So next question comes from Pro Combo TM. He's asking, would I be able to use it with a Intel Core i5 4590 3.3 gigahertz? Well, first off, uh, a little background information about this question. In the video, I do tell people that it, these regular settings put a little bit more strain on your CPU. So. Technically, if you have a really, really bad PC or like a cheap laptop, you probably don't want to do this, but uh, the, these settings aren't gonna like hurt your computer. They're not gonna break it. Uh, they might slow it down if your computer is really slow and your CPU is really bad. But if you have a desktop that's not too old, uh, you're, you're gonna be able to use these settings, but the rule of thumb would be that you can try these settings and then delete them. I'm going to show in the end of this episode how to delete the settings if you don't actually want to have them, if you don't want to use them anymore. But um, you can always try it and then delete them afterwards if you don't like it or if it makes you lag or something. Next question comes from Manny. He's asking, should I delete the TCP no delay if I use this mod? Basically, he's talking about the old reg edit tutorial that I did. Uh, basically, in that tutorial, I told people to put a TCP no delay uh, file in their reg edit settings, but now I actually encourage people to use the TCP no delay mod instead of that. And uh, if you have the old TCP no delay uh, file in your reg edit, uh, you can delete that. If you don't know how to delete it, you probably don't want to touch any of any of the files, but it's very straightforward. At the end of this, I'm not gonna show you how to delete the TCP no delay, but I'm gonna show you how to delete like the actual reg edit settings. So it's very straightforward, but very easy. You just press the TCP no delay and you delete it. And just make sure that you don't delete anything else from the reg edit settings. That's all I'm gonna say. Violet Compass Boy is asking, I already have a TCP act frequency from the last video. Should I add another one? No, you shouldn't add another one. Uh, you need to either modify the TCP act frequency to what the video is telling you to, or you can just start fresh, delete all the old settings. Like, don't delete anything else that is not considered or connected to Minecraft. Just delete the ones that you've added before and make sure you don't delete anything else because you might damage your computer actually if you do that. But uh, just delete the old regular settings and then start fresh and add the new ones. Twix Furix is asking, does it work for 1.8? Obviously he's talking about the mod, the TCP no delay 2.0 mod that I feature in this video, but um, he's asking if it works on 1.8. Uh, 
Uh, I'm pretty sure the mod doesn't work on 1.8. It's meant for 1.7.10. And the reason why it hasn't been done on 1.8 is 1.8 isn't really a PvP version. If you PvP on 1.8, you're probably a very casual PvPer. Uh, and you play on Mineplex or Hypixel or whatever. Uh, you're probably not going to see the difference between these reg edit settings or the TCP no delay mod if you're using it or not. So it doesn't really matter. But the reg edit settings, they do work on 1.8. They w work on other games too than Minecraft. But the mod, uh, you probably don't really have to worry about it. Just use it on 1.7 when you're playing with that. Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you how you can delete your reg edit settings for Minecraft. And basically there's really not many reasons why you would want to do this. One example would be if you're, for example, updating your Windows. And because sometimes when you update to, for example, Windows 10, uh, it could be that some of your reg edit settings get deleted. So if you have a few of them, uh, half of them might get deleted. So it might be a bit confusing. So you could just delete them and then add them back after the update. But um, that's one of the reasons. Another one could be that I just kind of want to give you guys a backdoor from the whole thing with Reg Edit. Uh, since some of you guys may actually be playing with like a crappy laptop that has a really bad CPU. And since these settings kind of put a little bit of more strain on your CPU, it could be that it's best that you don't have Reg Edit settings. So for some of you, uh, you might just want to delete them if you're... If your PC or laptop is just really bad so uh, it's pretty straightforward how you can delete them but I'm just gonna show you to make sure that everybody knows it you type reg edit here uh, you press yes and you have your reg edit settings here obviously you guys know how to get in here since you've done this before so in interfaces you have all these files and you have your MSS MTU TCP act frequency and TCP del act ticks and those are the four files that you wanted to want to remove but um, if also if you have a TCP no delay you can also delete that if you want to but these aren't really anything harmful they're just they might just slow your computer down a little bit uh, in terms of your CPU usage but uh, basically to delete these you just right click him and press delete right click press delete and right click press delete and press delete i'm not going to delete them because i don't want to but you have to do it to all these files and you might notice that some of these empty files have spawned in you don't have to worry about them just uh forget about them completely they're like pretty much they just spawn in. i don't know why exactly but you don't have to add the settings in there if you want to do your reg edit but uh, if you do it, if you're doing it for the first time, even if the file is empty, you want to add the uh, values in there. But in this case, after you've done the reg edit settings and this spawns, and you don't have to worry about it. But basically, that's how you delete them. All of these, you just have to delete, and just make sure that you don't delete anything else from here, because uh, you might actually really damage your internet settings uh, on your Windows. So. It could be that if you delete something that you don't want to delete, uh, you're actually not going to be able to con connect to a Wi-Fi or you're just not going to be able to access internet at all anymore. So be really careful. You might want to like back up these files or take a picture of them to see how you can replace them if you accidentally press something else and delete it. But you shouldn't have a problem if you follow the guide. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.